Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by today. So many channels you could be watching. You're watching, man. Truly grateful. Nan Green flags that she may be the woman for you in the Philippines. Number one, she's a soul snatcher. You may not even know what a soul snatcher is. But once you've had your soul snatched, you'll never forget it. You'll know where you were, what time it was, what day it was. I was in Mockton, April the 18th, 2009, Tamboli Beach Resort. Before you knew it, I'm hovering over the bed, looking down on us. And when I came to, I was sniffering and crying at the damn airport. Didn't even know why. It was a true indication this woman had snatched my soul and put it in her back pocket. There's other indications. You'll see it over here. Guys spend all their damn money. They can't get home. Other guys, they overstay their visa. They don't want to go home. We were in Peng Lao Bahal. We saw a foreigner. I don't know if he was American, European, whatever. He's walking up and down this hot-ass beach. The sun beating down on his brain. He's selling Filipino popsicles for 10 pesos each. See, that's a real indication that his soul was snatched by that Filipina. She had it in her back pocket. You may not even know what a soul snatcher is. But once you've had your soul snatched, you'll never forget it. So, yeah, she's a soul snatcher, number one. Number two is she loves herself. What do you mean, Calvin, she loves herself? Well, it's easy to see when a Filipina loves her, herself because she's going to take good care of herself. She may be a little vain. She may have a membership at the gym. She's going to wear powder on her face, keep her hair nice, have a manicure, pedicure. She's going to have a job. She's going to be self-supporting. Maybe an education if her family could afford it. But she loves herself. and be, Don't expect anybody to love you over here that doesn't love themselves. You don't want anybody over here with a low self-esteem, okay? I promise you that. So that's number two. Number three is she loves you. Love means sacrifice over here. If the Philippines not making sacrifices for you, she don't love you. But if she loves you, that's a green flag. What do you mean, sacrifices? Well, just for this video, let's make it mean maybe doing some things she don't want to do, but knowing that they're necessary to keep the relationship together, to keep you, to keep it strong. She may even go back to your country with you. You don't think that's a sacrifice? Well, it is to leave her family, her friends behind, everything behind, to go with you and start a new uh, life. Yeah, that's a sacrifice. And remember, these green flags are for people, men and women, who are looking for a serious relationship. This isn't for Johns. This isn't for players or playboys coming over here jumping from one woman to the next. But if you're truly trying to find a woman over here, for good and all, these are green flags. You say, well, what's a green flag? Green just means go. It means to proceed, to pursue. This may be the one. She may be a keeper. Everybody knows what red flags are. I mean, stop. Caution. But these are green flags. These are good things. Now, number three, she loves you. Number four is she can tell you her dreams. Because every Filipina has dreams, guys. Whether she can tell you or not. But if she can tell you what her dreams are, she's a keeper. It may be something so simple as, oh, I just want a happy family. I want to live a simple life. I want a house with kids. You know, I may want a nice motorcycle. I want to go back to school and finish my degree. Every Filipino you meet over here is going to have dreams. Some of them can't tell you, though. But if you meet one when you're comfortable, you're sitting around talking at Starbucks or wherever you are, and you say, hey, what are your dreams? And she can come out and tell you what her dreams are. Man, she's a keeper, guys. I promise you that. She's a keeper. Number five, she's jealous. I'm not even going to go into that, but listen, if, if a Filipino loves you, she's into you, and she's not jealous, that's a red flag. But if she's jealous, it's a green flag. Pursue that. Keep that going, because over here, that means something. That means she's into you. That means she likes you. And in the, in the beginning, that's what you want. You don't want to be guessing. You don't have but two weeks, maybe a month. We're not talking about trust. We're not talking about honesty. We're not talking about all that other stuff that takes time to develop. You're not going to see that until way down the road. We're talking about stuff you can see right away. 
and say, hey, this is something I may want to pursue. I'm going to keep going after this. Okay, number six, she's a turtle. She's not moving too fast. She's not trying to move in with you the first night y'all meet. She's not trying to do the girlfriend experience. She wants to get to know you, okay, before y'all get serious. Now, just because a Filipina does move in with you the first night or gives you the girlfriend experience doesn't mean she's bad. I'm just saying that if you meet one that says, hey, slow down, let's get to know each other first, that's a green flag to say, hey, I'm going to pursue this. I'm going to keep going. Number seven is she's traditional. I'm not talking about in her wifely duties. Because if she loves you, those are the sacrifices she's going to make. She's going to get up early in the morning and cook your breakfast, make your coffee. She's going to give you a massage. She's going to do all of that stuff for you. I'm talking about a traditional woman. Does she still pray? Will she throw a few candles in the fire for you? Because that's the first thing Marilyn did when I met her. Before we did anything, she said, hey, can I go to the church and pray? And she threw a few, few candles in the fire for us. For our relationship, man. She prayed over that. See, I want that type of tradition. I want that type of culture because it's going to stick around. Guys, I didn't come over here for a Western woman. I didn't come over here for a modern woman. I came over here for a Filipina. And I want a traditional woman that holds on to that stuff. She's not trying to cook me a steak and going to mess it up. When it's time to eat, she goes through the traditional meal. Adobo and rice. Fish and rice. Pork and rice. Or something like that. She's not trying to be something she's not. She's proud to be a Filipino. She wears it on her sleeve. That's what I want. No matter what. Even if I take her back to my country. See, I want a traditional woman. See, Filipinos don't meet strangers. When she gets in the taxi cab, she starts talking to the taxi like they've been knowing each other their whole entire life. That's the woman I want. I want her to hold on to that stuff. Okay? So, yeah, she's a traditional woman. She puts you first. She absolutely puts you first, guys. And I'm not saying this is good. I'm not saying it's bad. Even if she has children, she has friends, she has family, you're first. You're at the top of the heap. She doesn't do anything without checking with you first. That's a green flag. She talks about you glowingly behind your back. As a matter of fact, that's all she does is talk about you. That's a green flag. And she puts you first, guys. You're talking about loyalty? Yeah. That's what you want in the beginning. That's what you're looking for in the beginning. Okay? She's clingy. Okay, you say, well, I don't want a clingy woman. Well, in the beginning you do because that's a green flag. That she's into you. See, she's trying to keep you honest. She's holding you accountable. All those promises you made online, well, okay. Now it's time to prove it, buddy. You say you're going to do anything for me? Well, here I am. Do anything for me because I'm going to do anything for you. See, being clingy over here is, is really like a sign of control. She's looking after your best interest, believe it or not. Because most men, when we come over here, man, we're a train wreck ready to happen. But she wants to hang around. She wants to make sure that you're going to be okay. She may even try to handpick you a little bit. So you can iron all the stuff like that out in the long run. But in the beginning, yeah, number nine is she's clingy. But I'm going to give you a tenth one. Her family's in the picture. And they're always in the picture. A red flag. Of all red flags, if a Filipina is falling out with her family, if she's not close to her family. We all know how important family is over here. But they're in the picture, and they're always in the picture. She's getting texts. She's calling the whole time y'all together for the two weeks or a month. Somebody's checking on her. That's a green flag. Don't mean that you got to take care of everybody and all of that. That's a green flag. It's something you want your woman over here to have. Because, see, what I want to warn you is, the woman you're looking for at home, you're not going to find her over here. Those qualities you look for in a woman over there, they're not in the women over here. If you come over here with that mindset, you're going to miss something. That's what these nine flags 
green flags are about. We always talk about the red flags. What about the green flags? What about the good stuff we can look for that you can see immediately? I saw them in my son's mother. But see, the thing about it is, because y'all think I make this stuff up, it's coming from my own experience. I'm telling you, when you see this stuff, it's good in the beginning. This is something you want to pursue. The timing was just wrong. She had all nine of them. My wife had all nine of them. Merlin has all nine of them. I've been really, really fortunate when it comes to that. But I'm not making this stuff up, man. This is boots on the ground stuff. This is personal experience. I'm just sharing it with you. You can ask anybody out here who's dealt with a Filipino. They've got all nine of them. May even have one. May have a combination of them. But those things are somewhere in there when you first get over here. You don't have a whole lot of time. You're only going to be here for two weeks, three weeks, maybe a month. Honesty and all that trust and all that stuff. That's stuff on down the line, guys. But when you come over here, these green flags is what you can see immediately. And this is what you want in a woman over here. And you can say, hey, she might be the one for me. I think I'm going to proceed. I'm going to go after her. I'm going to pursue this. So thank you so much for stopping by today. Being America's late, before you let your head hit the pillow, please find somebody to help. If you're on one of them late grocery runs, beer runs, weed runs, just getting off second shift, or you're on your lunch break, you see somebody out in the street, or wherever you see them, buy them something to eat, buy them something to drink, give them a few dollars. If you're in the Philippines, it's still early. Today we'll have our 1,000 peso pandemic giveaway drawing that we do every Friday night at 8 p.m. that we've done from the beginning of this channel. It's our way of giving back during the pandemic. Not a day goes by that we don't help somebody over here every single day. Matter of fact, there was a fire across, right across over here the other day, and it cut the electricity off a few of our neighbors. So one neighbor came by and they said, hey, can we tap into your electric? Of course you can, you know, for a few days until they get their electric back on. This is the kind of stuff, man, that we do over here. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. When we help other people, we help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay COVID-free. I'll see you next time.